What's going on, TPL? It's week, or, yeah, week four of the cast, or something like that. Uh, this week, we've got Artisan Kane, we've got Q, and we've got Brooks. This is like my OG gang right here. We all went to college together. So for this, like, super spectacular podcast that we're going to get into some real good stuff for next season, uh, official announcements and stuff, decided to bring the gang. So we're going to have a really good podcast. So, um... You already know Artisan Kane a little bit, but Artisan, you want to say what's up? What's going on, guys, gals, non-binary pals? Artisan Kane here. And Q, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, what's up, guys? This is Andrew, or or Q, as I go by in uh, in the game. So, what's up? And, of course, Brooks. What's up, man? How's it going, I'm guys? All right. So, our first topic that we're going to go over is going to be the teams for next year. So right now I'm, I'm, I'm sharing my screen and I'm showing off the uh, CDL teams. So uh, not really that much to talk about about CDL right now. Um, it's kind of our developmental league where um, teams can kind of join and get a little taste of the uh, competitive scene. Uh, we've got a couple of veterans here. We've got the Ottawa Guardians. We've got the Memphis Maniacs. We've got the um, Lanchester Corver Knights. And we have season one returning, Sino and Furnapes. Um, they're all th- four teams, separated out into uh, different divisions, and it's um it's kind of like Hogwarts style where we've got the the four houses. Um, I'm coaching one division, um, Lincoln's uh, coaching one. Um, we got um, we got we got Damn. Cole and Dan, yeah, also coaching another division. So. <clears throat> It'll be a lot of fun to get to coach these guys. Uh, we get to coach them right before the draft, all the way through the very end. And um, like I said, they will be playing each other in the beginning. But Trico just announced today to the coaches that there will be a um, tournament at the end, intradivisional tournament. And so it'll be based off of uh, best record and or... Um, Whoever wins the interdivisional uh, tournament, if it's a different team, that are guaranteed playoff spots, and then from there it'll just go off record. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, for um, people who don't know, the CDL is basically the uh, developmental league that uh, Trico decided to start, and uh, I think yeah, it's a really cool idea. I think it's uh, gonna get uh, the format a lot more buzz, get more people involved. Uh, And I really like the idea of coaching. So you said, for example, that you're going to be a coach. So you're coaching four teams, right? That's right. And like I said, even though we're in that division together, none of those four teams are playing against each other. So, like, it's all in my best interest to help these four teams out. Like, I don't have a favorite. I don't have, like, anything. Like, I want, like I said, like Hogwarts style, like where I've got Gryffindor, right? And I want them to get the most points, the most wins. And same thing for, like, my other fellow coaches. So it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's I mean, super it'd, cool. It'd, it'd be a lot of fun unless you're Sino Infernape's Broad, Ripple, Buzzwolves, Atomic, Ampharos, or London Luxuries. You have to <laughs> deal <laughs> with Mario. Uh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't, no, wouldn't want to deal with Mario. But maybe the no fun division. <laughs> that's the luck for you guys. Yeah. Uh, like a, pre, a pre, pre-game boot camp the week before the... <laughs> The thing even starts, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's it's, uh, it's awesome to have like people like you and, and and Dan in there and Cole and then Lincoln. I mean, it's very very differing uh, play styles, but everyone kind of has uh, a little bit more of the experience in the competitive, um, and uh, I'm really excited to see how how this uh, turns out. And I know we've got some teams that. Um, already have a little bit of experience with it um either yeah. in uh in other leagues um or in you know even some others that are already content creators um yeah. so it's really cool this to uh to see how this will shake out and uh and then obviously you know now that we have some teams moving uh, uh out of the tpl into the cdl mm-hmm. you know the the ability to actually develop and you know keep learning and everything and then um that basically means that we'll have uh, some new faces here uh in the tpl also this coming season that's right and i think it's just really cool that not only did we get 
16 teams for the CDL, but we've still got 32 more teams for the TPL. So it's just uh, amazing how many people are out there willing to play uh, some draft league, and I'm excited to get into it. So, so let me ask for the the CDL. Does it serve as like a uh, like a boot camp for TPL? Like, if there's a spot that comes open in TPL, do they like how does that work? Um, is there any relation between the two leagues, or is it strictly like a? I mean, it's you still can go in here and practice, like learn yeah. and everything. Yeah, I mean, I think it's still the uh, it's still going to be the same commissioner. I think the goal is still to have keep to keep all sixteen of those teams through all the way. But that is a good question. I'll have to bring up. Like if, let's say, you know, somebody drops out of TPL, does a CDL get to move up into TPL? Like, you know, that would kind of make this league very dynamic, you know, where like one week you're like, you know, 8-0, and, oh, and then the next week you're in the TPL and, and you're 0-5. Oh and, and, you know, it's kind of like uh, when uh, a football player gets traded from like the Browns to the Patriots. It's like, you know, one week you're 0-12, oh next week you're 12-0, and oh, that kind of stuff. So Next man up. Yeah, next man up. So we'll we'll see what happens with that because, um, you know, we've always got people uh, watching our league from the outside. Uh, Trico does a really good t- uh, job of advertising our league, and um, you see how quickly, like, spots fill up, you know. We wanted uh, our buddy Brian in the league, and, and, like, every time we ask him, come on, join, 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 like, next day, boom, like, a new team's, like, already there, ready to go. So, um, yeah, we'll see if he wants to keep the CDL uh, – consistent with the 16 teams or if he'll move them up and um, take over somebody else if it um, comes down to that Um, but any more questions about CDL I just wanted to go brief overview of the league Uh, I know most of our listeners are in the TPL and with a lot of these teams like completely brand new I don't even know what else to say well, I think it, it is uh, it is really cool. Like you said that, uh, you know, Trico's been getting the word out a lot more. Um, I know we're now, like, you know, being featured on other Discord servers and stuff um, besides just our, our own on the, uh, the Pogo Coliseum one. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, we are getting the word out. And, you know, now this league has grown to include not only the huge 32 teams of the TPL, but now we have um, our own... Uh, developmental league here with another uh, 16 teams so we're talking about almost 50 teams in in this league Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, and there's a lot of people like you said that are are hungry to learn and hungry to uh, be involved in the draft league format so that's something really cool to see yeah definitely something to be proud of all right let's go ahead and look into next season i've got the whole division pulled up right now um just as a key the lime Ooh. green. The lime green is a returning d- to that same division. A blue is their returning team, but they're in a new division. And the yellow Ooh. is a rookie team. So for the most part, it's evenly spread out. Um, we'll start with Hoenn North. Um, so Q, it looks like you're not coming back to Hoenn North this uh, next no, season. No, I got I got booted. You got booted, man. So Eddie's gonna <laughs> probably be leading that division. And then we got the Stank with the Denver Duraladons um, staying in the north. Um, interesting about Turn the one. Stank that he's um, he took over a pretty pretty crappy team, and um, I think they had like a Pikachu on there. And I'm not dissing Pikachu, but come on, Pikachu. We got not some a really Pikachu good, sucks. <laughs> yeah, we got some really good free agents, and and he had adopted a Pikachu and, and instantly dropped it. You know. And uh, kind of reworked the team to kind of a pseudo reign, and then he kind of did a bit, a bunch of trades at the trade deadline, just because why not? And so we'll see what happens with him um, next season when he hopefully gets a new, fresh start. Um, but we also got Cincinnati joining the Hoenn North, probably going to give uh, Eddie some competition there. So that's going to be interesting, right? That's yeah, that's a real big shakeup. Yeah. Especially in that division, yeah. Yeah. Cincinnati Cincinnati and, and wat- watching them and Eddie go head to head, that'll be fun. Yeah, for sure. They'll get to go head to head twice in that season. Because that was that was a team that he didn't He didn't even play, uh, right? The, well no, he I think they played, but I don't think they, oh, they weren't that uh, was that was the controversial match that got overruled. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. He he didn't yeah. Cincinnati didn't actually start him. the team. Yeah, he, right. Yeah. yeah. 
same thing with me. Like, um, I actually got a forfeit win from Cincinnati uh, due to time constraints. Mm -hmm. Um, And if I remember correctly at the time, too, um, Dylan had just taken over that team not too long before that. So, yeah, so there was a a bit of a shakeup with that. So, you know, some of the L's that Cincinnati has on their uh, sheet right now could have easily been um, something that, if a game was played, it would have been a W. And or he's if playing he played with, was game correctly, should I say? And he's playing with another guy's team. Like he didn't, he didn't draft right. those guys or make that team. I mean, he's right. you know obviously can make trades and everything since then. But mm-hmm. it'd be fun to see, you know, give him the off season to make his own team as right. he wants it and see what he can do. That'll be that'll be fun. Exactly. Same thing like when you mentioned when you mentioned uh, Denver. Um, you know, uh, obviously someone who has a lot of experience with uh, the competitive format and, you know, uh, he's out there hosting tournaments and stuff. So he was able to, to do a, a nice turnaround on that team. So um, it'll be interesting to see these three teams return. And then uh, obviously with the uh, the new team coming in, um, that should be a fun division to watch. Yeah, I mean, you never know what the rookie could do. Um, so let's move on to Hoenn East because this one is Uh-oh. interesting oh, to say the least. <laughs> oh man, and we've got Alolan Strikers who are coming from Kanta over to Hoenn, who had a really hot start and then kind of died off towards the end. But you know, they they could have another hard start, hot start in uh, Hoenn. We've got Lincoln who's been giving everybody trouble in Hoenn. You know, he definitely did really really good in Kanto and then kind of. Kind of, you know, it, within the pack, right? Because Hoenn is always tough, and he's right there with everybody. And then we've got Q, who, you know, my Ducks. vote for yeah, my vote for the uh, most improved player. And then of course we got the bad Lombres. So man, <laughs> Dude, this is this is the division <laughs> watch <Stacked>. right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I mean, crazy. yeah, I mean, right right now as it stands, I mean, yeah, Lincoln and I. Are- are basically neck and neck for this uh trying to to lock up the division um obviously what happens within this week and then next week is gonna decide that but because like you said hoen is so tight right now um it basically it comes down to one of us taking it and one of us being out and you i know right now you are i'm on the like edge man. An 11, <laughs> yeah you're like a, a 10 or 11 win team and you might not make it so now, you know, I think this division is going to be very, very tight. Yeah. Every and I think, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think all the divisional games are going to be must see matches. Yeah. Yes. Just some, some bare knuckle box and just brutality, man. It's going to be, yeah. it's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. I'm right. very, very excited for that. Yeah, so Hoenn South. So we've got two new rookie teams here. You know, I think it would have been cool to see, like, one of the rookie teams in the East. That way the East has, like, a rookie team because every other division has at least one. But technically there's one rookie team that's Is not that really a James rookie. River of, that's James River of that's old, James right? James River, dude. <laughs> He's coming back. He's coming I back. Love it. I love it. Yes. Dude, he I was love a villain. So, TPL you know, vi- a we- villain. Yeah, we had some missteps happen this season, but I mean, it'll it'll be fun to to get that uh, you know, vengeance story for sure. And he had a so strong start. Dude. He had a he had a yeah. you know missed up the side. He had a yeah. good start, so for he's sure. not not some rookie no. who doesn't know what he's doing. He's no. he's ready for right. it. No, yeah, he you definitely don't want to sleep on him. Um, but we, you know, we got him versus Matt. You know who who I think might be the our. Um, season two winner might be um i think he's the odds on favorite right now yeah for sure uh so that's gonna be really interesting and then we got low ladder here who you know kind of had like one of the roughest teams but brought it up pretty good and then kind of just like decided to quit well not quit but you know tank yeah <laughs> it's the low la- yeah it's the low ladder fire sale yeah <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he hey. totally blew up the team here, and especially uh, uh, right as we were approaching the trade deadline. Yeah, you pretty much just go up to him. Hey, can I have that mock? Sure. Yeah, why not? Traded him something for a shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> he, took it, he took it quick. Yeah. I almost got Salazzle off, but I, I was too slow. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> so, 
that'll be a fun division. Um, and last up is my own, uh, the West, the Wild Wild West. So College Station, Good Bull, San Diego Charizardites, uh, Southern Swampers. This should really be the South because these are some Southern teams right here. Texas, Tyrone. That's a Texas. Yeah. yeah, that's a Texas Division plus one California. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that but, Southern Swamper swagger. Mm-hmm. That's baller. Slap. I love it. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. But yeah, I mean, uh, Mario, you and Angel have been, you know, kind of head to head, man. Going, yeah, going at it. And, uh, that'll be interesting to see that rivalry continue. Uh, yeah, me too, man. Continue in the, in the division. Yeah. All right, so that's Hoenn. Let's go look at Kanto. So mm. Kanto here, Kanto North. So we see Indiana is shifted. They're no longer in uh, the West with Brooks. They're up here in the north. Uh, uh, so no more, no more easy wins playing against Brooks. Yeah, no more easy wins. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a close one. No, yeah, you did <laughs> almost get him. You did almost get him. Leafion, Leafion did. Leaf did. Yeah. That was all it took. Yeah. He's a really good player. He's really fun to play. He's against. really good. Yeah. Got Kansas really fun. City, got Long Beach, Savannah. Oh, that that might be the second, second toughest division in the league. That's yeah. Again, we have another division where um, you know all, all returning uh, guys, and none of these teams are slouches. Mm-hmm. Like all these teams come to play, and that'll be really fun to watch those divisional matchups too. Are, are those the are those the only two divisions that are all returning players? Mm-hmm. Mine and or ours. Uh, the yeah. Hoenn East. Yeah, looks yeah. like it. Everyone else has someone. Yeah, Hoenn East, and then that division in the Canton North. Those are have all returning uh, yeah. folks. So that's that's really really cool. Mm-hmm. All right, so the East, yeah, Carolina, Delaware. Uh, the Napoleon Emperors and the Washington Mythics. So even though the Washington Mythics are rookies here, if you are an SQL player or SQL follower, you'll know that um, the Washington Mythics are actually uh, Marcus, the Carolina Conkelder's roommate. Roommate, so, right? Yep. And he is a single person first. So he joined SQL this season, but he had already committed to another league. And... Um, he wanted to uh, commit to TPL, but it was like oh, I can't do three leagues. So it looks yeah. like I thought I thought uh, they were mainly a VGC a VGC player, but uh-uh. but yeah, no. He's oh man, player. roommate roommate versus roommate. I'm I love sure. it. Yeah, pretty sure that, that he's more of a singles player. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I think I remember doing a, not a podcast, but like a video with him, and uh, it might have been like after the SQL draft, and we were talking, and he was like, "Yeah, man, I'm more of a singles player." So I was like, "Ooh." Be interesting to see, and, and I like how Trico stuck him with Marcus. You know, <laughs> hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Right that's there. that's yeah. That that'll be really fun to watch. And uh, again, we've got the returning Delaware Dittos, and mm-hmm. and you know that's another team that you know took over uh, halfway through the season, and right. you know made yeah. it competitive down the stretch. They yeah. might you know might not be able to make it in the playoffs this year, but you know they definitely helped turn around a team and. Yeah, I think they definitely being able it. to start from scratch. Yeah, being able to start from scratch. I mean, it'll be fun to see uh, see how everything turns out with them. Yeah. All right, we got the South here. So we've got um, Arizona State Impidimps. Uh, Joey. Austin. Yeah, it's Big Joey. We've the boy the JP. Adrons, uh, <laughs> Los Angeles. Sexy Beatles. ass Ryan voice. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and Phoenix Soul Rocks West. <laughs> and West. <laughs> Hell yeah! So oh, that'll be fun to see I see know. the content come out of there because uh, you know all those all those guys. Well, the three that we know of, right? They're uh, they're uh, content creators. They actually like record and stream and stuff. Yeah. So it'll be fun to watch that. And Danny Mag, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Dan Dan knows him, right? Uh, or am I'm I sure. mistaken? No, I, no, I'm not sure. Man. I think uh, I think that might have been someone that. Uh, that he knew he from watched the stream today. Um, oh yeah, he did watch the stream. So yeah, it's you know it's Danny someone Mac. that was yeah. So he was uh you know he's already been following the league, so he already kind of knows what's what's been going on. So you know that'll be another another uh, the fun division to watch. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to do some scouting, early scouting. I like it. Team, team prepping already. I love it. 
All right, and the last division, we've got Canto West with Brooks, both of these Nuzleafs, Lily Pool, FC, Nico Ryan, Old Ice Q, Old English Ice Cubes with Ger Bilbo, and the Red Spark Vicka Bolts. Oh, that sounds like a fun division, man. Yeah, sounds kind of wild. Mess of the West. <laughs> yeah. So again, you know, Mr. Brooks here playing the. Uh, Spoiler and playing super unpredictable. You never know from week to week what he's gonna bring. Yeah, and, which uh, Brooks are you gonna get? You know, exactly. Well, <laughs> is he gonna bring the one that, that uh, sweeps you with Gyarados or what? Or the one that brings the splash? We, we lose. Yeah. <laughs> splash Gyarados. Yeah. He, we lose fast or we win fast. Yeah. So there's but no, no other ties. way. There's I no in between. It. No in between. No ties. No ties. No in between. Mm -hmm. I love it. And then yeah, now I mean, uh, like D two. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, D uh, two. You know, being a uh, the season one champion, um, and then uh, old English. Old English ice um, team, man. Uh, another another team that took over um, pretty late in the season. Yeah. You know, also made a whole bunch of moves, try to get the team to what they wanted, and. Uh, uh, another team that will probably come up short in the playoff race, but you know, starting off the, se the season three fresh, it'll be really fun to watch and keep track of how how they do down the stretch. So, and who gear? Who cares about Brooks? Who cares how he does? Yeah, I do want to make one. We'll, we'll see what happens. There. One, uh, <laughs> one sad announcement. If I'm mis not mistaken here, I don't see Cole. I don't see Redified. <gasps> oh shit! You're yeah. right. Oh. So, oh, he dropped. I think oh, he dropped. Sense. I think he's just going to be a full-time coach now, so it's unfortunate. Okay. I literally just messaged him because I was, like, looking at Kanto. I'm like, Where, where's our Kanto star? And it's like, Yeah, it's what the hell? Someone's going to have to take up that. Where's the John at? Yeah. And fucking sweep everyone in Dynamax Togekiss. Mm -hmm. Man. Oh. Maybe I'll just take Gyarados and Togekiss, and I'll just... <laughs> yeah, whoever's whoever's listening and takes over that team, yeah. uh, send me some send me some trade offers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe somebody will drop. I want Cloyster back. Take over. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't see anybody else who dropped uh, the significance. Uh, but yeah, there's our divisions for season three. So let's bring it back to season two. Uh, Trico just announced a lot of the All Stars. Let's Hell yeah! Look at uh, the Hoenn Conference. So we've got Slurpuff from uh, Portland Pichus with 27 kills. I think it's second place. Six deaths and uh, 2.3 KPG. We got Surfetched. My boy Surfetched. The amazing Alakazam's 28 kills, leading the league. Nine deaths, 1.9 KPG. Insane. And Darmanitan, recently acquired uh, right here. Uh, Call Station Good Bull, 13 kills, 3 deaths, 1.1 kg, uh, kbpg. And then we got Charizard. I think this is the second year that Charizard has made the all star. Back um, to back. Yep. Back to back. Yep. It's like the LeBron. Um, <laughs> <laughs> of the of namesake, San Diego Charizardites. 23 kills, 13 deaths, 1.5 KPG. We got Toxapex on the defensive side here. We can't tell here. We got some defense. We got Toxapex. Two deaths. Yo, what? That thing's 10K 2D? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> high. What that the fuck? <laughs> Who the hell that dies thing will... to Toxapex? It's probably Toxic. Oh, it's because it'll, yeah, is it'll Toxic or Toxic Spike. You just take that damage, whittle yeah. you down, and you fucking die. Mm -hmm. Damn. And then finally, of the Arizona State Impidimps, Tyrannosaur. So. You know, I think that was a big acquisition to help him turn some stuff around. Dude, that, yeah. was, that was big. As soon as he got Tyranitar, his team turned around. He was like, fuck Dragapult. Let me get this Tyranitar. <laughs> <laughs> And dude, the the other the other trade deadline acquisition here, Darmanitan. Yeah, that's Mar right. has, has he even played a game for you yet? Oh yeah, he's come out of the Pokeball. Um, I think he got a kill or two. <laughs> I had to play a little yeah, pretty careful. Quick, huh? I had to play a little careful around the Ditto, but hopefully this week. It'll oh be yeah, that's right. Out. Yeah, I can let Ditto reverse sweep me. Yeah. But yeah. We'll so see. what we got going on in Kanto? Let's go look at Kanto. So for Kanto. 
Oh. Uh, Ooh, up. wait! This guy's like the oh, uh, wait, Steph that's, Curry. That's 29, though. Oh shit, you're right. That's League. That's the Yeah, league. yeah. Uh, More than some sure respect on that. that. Unfortunately. Some respect on that. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Andrew. Yeah. Forgot the Steph Curry. What, what about the what about the KPG? Uh, 1.2. Yeah, Not bad. Like 1 .2. 1 .2. Oh yeah, you beat me there too. <laughs> yeah. Well yeah, oh, I mean no. you bring it every game. You, you have like eleven <laughs> wins though. You know, I just it's just I'm just like <laughs> throwing it out there. I just, yeah. Throw it out there, get a couple kills. Uh, next up, we got Venusaur. We got uh, 25 kills for Des, 2.3. Got Cinderace. Or Cinderace uh, back to back again. Wait, did Venusaur make it last year? I don't remember. I don't think so. But Cinderace again back to back. Actually, a lot of Kanto's back to back. We got Cinderace, Gyarados, and next up, Togekiss. Uh, 17 kills, 5 deaths, 1.3. KPG. Uh, newcomer Sock. Sock's been Sock leading. Sock gone. This is, this is the uh, the uh, waiver wire acquisition. All-star. Uh, 16 kills, 5 deaths, 1.6. And then finally another uh, waiver wire acquisition. Leafeon. Leafeon. Leafeon is three crazy. Deaths. Three you, deaths. Yes. You don't expect it out of these two yeah. mods, Sock and Leafeon, to be honest. But, I mean... Augusta has done some real, real fun stuff with Sock, you know, especially, you know, Choice Man, obviously, doing a lot of damage. And then Leafeon in a Chlorophyll set, you know, uh, especially in a format that has Dynamax, that thing is a threat. Yeah, he, uh, I think my first game against Indiana when we played, I swept, like, the first four mons with Gyarados, and then he brought out, like, a dig Leafeon with weakness policy, and he was, like, last <laughs> mons, and we, like, died. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. There's some uh, fun stuff that thing can do, and, and yeah, it, it does damage. It's got a really high attack stat, surprisingly, and you know, after a sword dance or weakness policy, that kind of stuff, yeah, man, it, it can go on a tear. Yeah. So those are your all stars for the season. Uh, Triggers are probably tweeting this stuff out as we speak, but for the real juicy stuff, okay. If you haven't been listening to the podcast right now. What's up? Mario, Mario, yeah, yeah. before before we, before we switch off the uh, yeah, yeah. the All Stars, yeah, who that? who do you think who do you think was the biggest snub from the All Star game? Honestly, it, it's between two, it, and it's both of them on your team, Alakazam and Reboot, because those dudes are threats. They've got a lot of kills. They come in late game and sweep, and nobody voted for them. So. I know Sir Fetch does, just sounds a little salty. Sir Fetch does all the damage up front, but even <laughs> if you, you sacrifice three to four monsters to Sir Fetch, and you're like, oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm going to live. And then here comes Alakazam, here comes Raboot, and you're dead. Yeah. You're done. I was, I was <laughs> going to say Alakazam too, uh, because of the fact, because of what it can do, especially in this game with uh, Psychic Train. Mm -hmm. uh, and it does it so well on your team, Andrew, because you have a uh, terrain setter. Uh, you know, it, it can do, it can be extremely, extremely good in this format, and, and you've proven to, to, I think you used your first pick on it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, so you grabbed it with your first pick, and it's, uh, you know, it's done its job for you. Even just having it on your roster, it's one of those mods that you have to think about with when you're the other team. You're like, okay, that thing is super fast, it can hit you like a truck, you know, you gotta try to plan for it. You know, I, th I think for I think my biggest snub, who was a he was a all star last season, Silvally. 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 Oh, yeah. Shoot. yeah, he's. You're I, right. I, I think he should have made it, man. Yeah, you're. Absolutely he deserved right. but I think in the the KD, it actually led the season or led the league last season, and it's definitely got to be up there this season. Um, I'm not sure if people just haven't been paying attention to to Matt's team or what he's been doing over there, but uh, I think yeah, dude, 18 I, and death, I think, three kills. Yeah, and I think uh, Mario, you mentioned it before also, but what part of what makes Matt's team so good is its flexibility and its unpredictability, and a big part of that is that Silvali. You never know what kind of typing it's going to be and what kind of set it's going to run. Right. I mean, you can. I mean, you can kind of try to play test and, you know, guess, but I mean, even just 
just guessing it right. You still have to f try to figure out what kind of set it's going to run right. and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think Soul Valley is a great, a great mod in this format, and Matt's been using it exceptionally well the past two seasons. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I misspoke. Yeah. It was it was 18 kills and three deaths, not 18 deaths and three kills. But oh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah. Pl yeah. playing him like I don't even know where to start to prepare for that <laughs> yeah it's, it's ridiculous and the thing is like even the in its ability the rks system i mean you can't like try to knock it off and make it yeah. you know normal yeah. again you know you can't do anything crazy like that so you know it, it that's a really yeah. fun mod yeah when they buff, I think, I people think talk about it time. tough they, to prepare for yeah they buffed the multi-attack to 120 base power too which just yeah, it's just so destructive. That's so dumb, man. In um, draft league. That's so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Chimpact, I don't know if you guys uh, listened to that um, draft league, but Chimpact had it in um, one of his draft leagues, and yeah, he swept so many times with it. So, it's a real threat. Brooks, Definitely. what about you? Do you have a, a biggest snub? Uh, Alakazam was probably... And uh, Sil Valley, like everyone was, I heard some people talk about it, like where's Sil Valley in there? And I mean, I would think those those two, I'd agree. Oh well, yeah, honestly for those. I mean, a lot of times you think of offense when you think of an all star, mm -hmm. and I think that's why some people were like, oh, why'd you vote for Pex or whatever? And you know, no, Pex yeah, I, yeah, I I definitely voted for Pex because I mean, when you're playing that thing, you have to you have to have a plan for it. If you don't, you're not going to be able to knock it out. Yeah. So I understand why that took, uh, you know, that took a, a position and, you know, maybe a more offensive mon didn't make it. But, I mean, Kanto was really stacked, too. If you look at those Better rosters. Yeah. If Better than the hip. Look at those though. rosters, though. Yeah, the hippo. I bitch, you know. Yeah. Good point, Andrew. All right, let's look at the juicy stuff, the real meat. Here's season three's cool. document right here. Um, Trick shares right. this with me today. I got a quick You're looking look at, at it, it. With, with fresh eyes right now. Yeah, I got a quick look at it, but to be honest, I wanted to stay um, spoiler free. I'm gonna zoom that in for you guys so y'all can read it. Um, so here it says, "Welcome to TPL season three. We are very glad to have you all here." That being said, please progress through the tabs in order that they are listed below, and be sure to read everything. Man, Trico making me read stuff. All right, all right. <laughs> People don't Mario read. To us. <laughs> Can we have like a video tutorial on on this on this uh, league so we don't have to read all this? Dude, I'm gonna post this as a video format in um, YouTube. So, all right, all right. Yeah, because just because like just listening to this, like you don't know what I'm fucking talking about. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyways, if you have so any questions along the way, please DM me, which is Trico, not me, on Twitter or Discord. Please confirm with me via DM that you have read and understood everything in this document. He does that every season, yet people still break the rules. Just throwing that out there. Uh, happy yeah. reading. Can't wait to close out season two and start up season three. So here is the schedule for next season. So we've got November 30th through December 6th, uh, season two, week 17. Okay, let me skip all that. All-star week. Yeah. Got the wild card round. We got the keeper deadline. So On the deadline Christmas. Is yeah, so the deadline's actually after the season's ended. Not, last year it was like the last day, right? And so you had to kind of like decide, um, which kind of like made some people upset because it was like, um, if you didn't know at the end of the season, like who you're going to keep or who you were not, it, it could have messed you up, you know? But Yeah, uh, a lot of that had to do with the fact that the expansion was already like out at that point i think and people yeah. like we were we were trying to to get into season two asap right. so yeah um so yeah that that was kind of it was a little bit it was you know a little rush right it was a little rough rough but uh but yeah so that that's interesting to see the uh Deadline's keeper deadline there of christmas yeah that's a good deadline Smart. you guys are gonna be pulling me away from my family to shoot him urgent <laughs> messages about <laughs> <where I wanna. laughs> Oh, you're going to wait till Christmas Day to do all that? You know, somebody will. He's going to be messaging them on Christmas. Be like, yo, bro, happy Christmas, but who are you keeping? <laughs> but figure your shit out. Yeah, exactly. I'll message him at 11.58 yeah. at the deadline. Just to tell him the one mod I'm going to keep. Remember, that's EST. So. Yeah, oh. Eastern. Eastern, U.S. Yeah. Eastern. 58. Yeah. 58. Most people, uh, most of us leagues in Eastern. Uh, 
So we got the divisional round, conference championship, and then the actual championship. And then finally, immediately following the championship, season three transaction period begins. So that means you can start mm. trading your mods, you'll be asking for picks, asking for other stuff. And uh, yeah, on January Man, 3rd. Draft follows right afterwards. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, CDL's draft is on the 3rd. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that'll be that'll be a you know, fresh start. So there's no no transaction for them. It's just like they just draft. Yeah. Um, right. Resigning deadline. So we'll we'll see what that's all about. That resigning deadline. Because we already give them their keepers, but what's this resigning stuff? Free agency starts on the eighth, and then uh, the actual draft is going to be on the sixteenth. So that's that's you know that's different, right? We got a free agency period for two days. And then we got the actual draft. So keep those dates in mind, guys. Uh, 11 a.m. Eastern. Hopefully that's a Ugh. Saturday. Let's, let's look it's at Saturday. January 16th is a Saturday of uh, MLK weekend. You already booked it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's the Saturday of uh, MLK weekend. Nice. Um, so, uh, yeah, that'll, that that'll be fun. Let's so, request off. Drop a little... Drop a little note there in my uh, calendar. calendar. <laughs> and then we start, <clears throat> CDL starts the week before on January 18th, but TPL will start on the 25th of next year. Last week of January. It's pretty good. I like cool. that. I like that schedule. So we've already done a divisional uh, reveal. So here it is again for everybody. Uh, we don't need to look at that for too long. Free agency, introducing free agency. So entering season three, we'll have a free agency period before the draft. Uh, every Pokemon that was kept in season one into season two, regardless of whether it was acquired by trade or not, actively becomes a free agent. Holy shit. Ooh. Wait, kept from season one into... S so that means like, Wait. like let's say... Hmm, My Hydreigon? I mean, When'd you give me Gyarados? Whether it was acquired by trade or not. <laughs> no. Oh shit! You, yeah, you do have to drop Gyarados. I mean, that's how that works. <laughs> Damn. Uh, uh, time to restructure. Okay, there's a, there's a list. Uh, so we'll double check that. There's a list below, uh, which is uh, hidden. Depressing. Yeah. Uh, got it. Um, so for free agency, each team is gifted a hundred dollars to spend on Pokemon. Each impending free agent has a cost with them based solely off TPL performance through the first two seasons. Okay, so this is season oh, one and season two. Combined. So you shit. can't you can't take you can't tank your shit, okay? It's, it's too <laughs> too much data. Even if you go zero kills, it's it's not enough, man. One death's not gonna be enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Holy shit. This cost is based on their all time KDR the end of week 14 season 2 oh shit so you can't even it doesn't even matter what you do right now it's already man cause set. I got ages oh. flashed I don't know what the fuck that thing did last season yeah so C chart below Damn. we're gonna look at the chart we're gonna look at the chart Kratos <laughs> too expensive flash now wouldn't be a, Aegis Flash wouldn't be a free agent though right yeah it uh, would no no it wouldn't because you got it season 2 no 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 it wouldn't but but Brooks kept it but it was no, no, kept no, no. no you're kept right it. Oh. From season one into season two. Oh, oh. oh. oh weather acquired by Drake. Yes. Okay, Dracovish too, didn't so you? So basically, okay. So in, like, in more plain terms, basically the only mods that aren't on this list mm -hmm. are either current free agents mm -hmm. or they're mods that were introduced in season two oh. by the. Uh, no, not 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 the, current free agents. Not current free agents. They were free agents at the time that season two began. Right. They yeah. were free agents right. at that time. Or right. they were added in season two, meaning yeah. they were part of the Isle of the, the uh, So I, well, I got to give up well, Dracovish too then. Well, well, wait, well, wait. We got to look at yes. this list. Um, Bro. So each Pokemon that, that, that was drafted in season two draft can be kept at a loss of your draft pick from ra the round they were selected in. If you have Ooh. two, two <laughs> selected in the same round and elect to keep both, you must lose the pick from the following round. Okay. Damn. You must Oof. submit keepers uh, to Trico uh, by Christmas, and uh, 
please keep the keepers a secret. They will be revealed on midnight or whatever that is, the 26th. Um, yeah, midnight, 26th. So right after Christmas. Note this deadline is then, only for keepers for your draft pick. That way we know like who's getting kept, who's not. Yeah, note, so you can play. <clears throat> yeah, note that the league season um, begins as soon as the championship ends. At this point, you may make trades, keep uh, kept Pokemon, <gasps> resign Pokemon draft picks, and cash considerations are all able to be utilized in trades. DM me with a cash deal. Yes. Cash it's like basketball. It's like basketball. Holy I like shit. it. Yeah. So a lot of variables here. As far as resigning the free agencies via money, the deadline will be January 7th at midnight. You may re-sign Pokemon at any point from the 26th through this deadline, okay? On January 8th, all Pokemon that were not re-signed entering a bidding stage, teams will use their money. So so basically, basically um, the free agents must re-sign, and so those teams have an opportunity to re-sign them with their money. If they're not able to resign them. If you choose them. to keep them, you can resign them. Right. You and can keep any of them, even if they're free agents. Right. Got it. Okay. But cool. you have until January 7th to do that. And if they don't, then on January 8th, they'll start a bidding stage where teams will use their money to bid on those available Pokemon. So you can't just like Got spend it. all your money on Cinderace just because you get to keep them. You got to like keep in mind that all that money could have gone into a potential free agent that was in the bidding stage that could have been cheaper so you gotta play a lot of money ball here uh, potentially I mean you do whatever you want you can give me all your money <laughs> <laughs> you can only bid up to the amount of money that you currently have designated to your team name so that means you gotta make those trades on January 10th bidding will close there will be a 15 minute runoff stage kind of like going once going twice type of deal to ensure everybody got their final bids in so are they are there are they blind bids? Uh, that's a good question. I, I, I think they have to be game. because it's two days, you know, from eighth to the tenth. Yeah. So you're kind of blind bidding, and then you just like put all your marbles down, and then like then it'll be like revealed, you know. More to come yeah. on that later. Okay, so we'll wait. Note that all. Food, I don't know about that, man. Yeah. Because if you don't know what you're getting, how are you supposed to build a team? Yeah. That's true. That's true. Maybe it won't be blind bid. Because if it's not blind bid, yeah, then yeah. you can kind of figure it out. You're right. It's probably going to be on a Google Doc. Or it's not completely blind. Hey, Gary does for 99 bucks. Right, but it's not going to be like <laughs> it's not going to be like live. You know, it's not live bidding, but it's not blind either. So all free agents for that season um, before cost a $10 keeper fee, entering a bid at $1. Okay. All unsigned mons at free agency will enter the draft. All of the Unkept mods that were drafted in season two with all the new added Crown Tundra mods. So draft, clear your calendar, Ooh. January 16th, uh, TPL draft. The order will go from worst record to best record, uh, one through 20, followed by 21 through 32 based off playoff results, just like last season. So Matt, I'm looking at you. Don't give me that excuse if you don't know about football. Just read. <laughs> <laughs> we don't read. Uh, note that you will do. You do not lose draft picks for re-signing free agents. Some teams may come out of the draft with more than eight mons. In this case, they'll be asked to release a mon until they won't be asked to release a mon until they hit uh, that magic number eight. By the way, I said eight. There will only be seven rounds. Okay. Eight mons. Eight mons. There will be seven eight. rounds. Magic number eight, huh? Eight. So, confirmed eight. All right, so let's look at the eligible mons. So we got Aegislash, Ableton. I'm not going to read all these. Um, it looks like a got lot. Got Cinderace on there. A lot. Yeah. It, it's pretty, pretty much it, anything from... mods that are $100 and 150 <laughs> It was pretty much anything that wasn't part of this new ex the, the expansion before this. Yep. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much everything from Season 1. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So everything from Season 1, fully evolved probably, because I don't see any babies on here. Fully evolved from Season 1 into Season 2. That are currently on a team. That are currently on a team. Oh, oh no, some are, some are FA. 
But yeah, some are free agents, but those are going to be... Ooh, look at that. And you have a... He made a, a handy little free agent retaining cost so you can see how expensive oh, it would be to keep yeah, expensive. Team. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you have to you have to take that into consideration plus all the new mods. Yeah. Did I, so, oh, do I you want to... my team. I'm just over busting. So it's like... Yeah, so it's like how many mods oh, do you want to yeah. keep and then yeah, how many mods... Well, he has mods like Alakazam that aren't going to be on the list. Oh, you're right. You're right. So that's really interesting. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Man. Oof. So yeah, if you think, I mean, if you think about it, the mods that were introduced mm -hmm. in Isle of Armor that are Stone Cold Killers mm -hmm. aren't going to be on here. Yeah. So just off the top of my head, you got mods like Starmie, Alakazam. Dude, dude, um, but I don't. But I, do I even want to keep that that that, that Alakazam there? Because I'm losing out my my first draft first round draft pick if I do. All right. right. Defensive mods like Skarmory. So it, it'll be interesting to see um, how some of those notable um, notable mods go. It like how expensive. Love like so I would love to keep Hydreigon, but I don't know if I mean I don't know what I would want to do. It's just so expensive. How much Here. is uh Here it is. I didn't see that. Here it is. Gyarados is gonna be like three thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thirty bucks. Wait. No, 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 hundred bucks. No, no, no. no, hell no. <laughs> hip out hip out on cheap though. Look at that, yeah, twenty bucks. I'm I'm that shit. That's on. Yeah, no, Tox Effects, oh, I was bad. just looking at Tox Effects, it's $100. Yeah. $100 Tox effects. Uh, the Draco <laughs> should be, the, the the Fossil should be pretty cheap, mm. hopefully. They didn't do much. Dracovich at 100 Draco Zolt at 80 <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's off KDR, not KDs. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, so does the, uh, uh, cheap. You're welcome. <laughs> so, yeah, so can you, from, from reading these rules, can yeah. you do... Like if I want to keep my first round, uh, I'll use my team as a hypothetical. Yeah. I want to keep my first round pick because the draft is going to be loaded with all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah. But I also want to keep Alakazam. Yeah. So would if I choose to not resign him. Alakazam but not keep him and lose my pick, that's something that I can do. I would just have to resign him for whatever he cost. Is that right? You have to try to resign him. Yeah. You have to resign him, and then he'll go into bidding. So then you could try to. Bid. Oh, what you, so. But it says that. Hold up. Go go back up. Okay. So it says as far as resigning, the deadline for resigning is that date. So, so you so I can resign him. Each Pokemon that was drafted in season two can be kept at a loss for your draft pick in the round that but it is selected. I, but if he's not my keeper, but yeah. I choose to, re can you can you resign non keepers? I guess is what I'm asking. That's a good question. I we'll have to definitely ask this question specifically about Alakazam. I mean, not specifically, but well, anyone yeah, who will answer the question. <laughs> right, right. But you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. It's like if if because it was drafted first round. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't want to and use like the keeper rule. Overall. I don't want to use the keeper rule, even if it saves me the money. Right. I'd rather use the money, but be able to keep him. So I don't know. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't. You want to use your money. Right, and not the draft pick. Right. I don't know if I'm, I'll keep him or not. I'm not trying to spoil anything. I was just saying yeah. hypothetically. Like, it's uh, it'll be interesting, interesting system. Yeah. And so, what happens? I don't know. It probably goes into this at some point, um, later in this Google document here. But what happens after the draft? Is it after the draft? It's just back to normal, like free agency type, and yeah. trading, like you just trade for whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is just like in team construction. These restraints yeah. are on team construction to make sure at the time of the draft, people aren't like it's a little bit more balanced. Yeah, which yeah. I mean, this is a good a good way to kind of uh, keep a little bit more balance because I know some teams, you know, right out the bat either didn't have a great draft or some people that came in halfway through the season and inherited a team inherited a team that didn't have a great draft uh, and right out the gate that kind of puts them at a huge disadvantage right and so this way it kind of makes it 
It makes it. I mean, you could still you could still exactly. draft bad. You could still have a yes. bad draft, yeah. but you're in in terms of you're at the same stage as everyone else. You're not like oh man, I'm you know my team from last year sucks and I have nothing to build off of. Like everyone can build from wherever they're at. Right. I mean, like, uh, yeah. and a lot can happen too, and with trades and everything during the yeah, season. Yeah. I mean, um, I know last season I had. Uh, or and, and earlier this season, at one point I had both Dracovish and Hydreigon, um, which wouldn't happen out of a draft. But you know, I traded for Hydreigon uh, when I got it on the team. I actually traded Brooks for Hydreigon. So uh, you know, even though the draft might make it a little bit more favorable, you know, once you you can start doing those trades and acquisitions and stuff. Um, you know, you can really change the face of your team as it is. And I know a lot of people did that here, especially right around the trade deadline. Kind of yeah. totally changed what their team was about and what they were doing. I'm a big fan of the system, man. Like, yeah. I think I think this this will drastically help even everything out and, and make teams that might have been frustrated, you know, that they weren't as competitive. Mm. Um, I mean, you're you're everyone has the chance to, to be right up there. Arena class is 20 really bucks. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, Rilla Boom? Yeah, what? 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That's. Uh. Yeah, this. See, like, if this was. Yeah. yeah oh, my bad. Definitely gonna have to, like, look at this. Yeah, so this is gonna be a list study. There's it's not gonna... enough time to keep staring at this list. Well, and, and just, like, it's, it's. It's. This The rules in general, man. It's. It's, it's it's a complicated system. It seems like at, at least a little bit complicated. No, it'll balance but, everything out very. But well. it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna help out a yeah. ton. I'm I'm a big fan uh, of it. See, because yeah, if this was last year, I would have just kept like Garrett and my two fossils and called it a day. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you have to. Still, you you would have still had a busted <laughs> team. God. That's yeah. You, that's the thing. Yeah, I would have. You know. You know what? The opportunity to read everything. You know, you know so what this is gonna really probably do? probably better for me this yeah. You have to make you me have go to like, one in fifteen. <laughs> you have you have to put <laughs> thought into into like the team that you build like well beforehand. Because hmm? you can't just be going yeah, through no money really new. Yeah, yeah. You can't just think, oh man, whatever, I'm just gonna it's just right. Like you have to think about it because you have a finite amount of resources that you can can throw around there, so it's actually pretty I, cool. I think it's cool, man. It's yeah. probably going to make my team really suck because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's going to make team construction very difficult. If you don't get if you don't get what you want, then or you know you start doing things, then you don't realize. Oh, hey, four of my mods are weak to fairy. Yep. You know something like I think something like that is bound to happen, where someone's going to come out of the draft and realize oh shit I don't have any fire resist or I don't have you know I don't have a, a electric resist or something you know something like that I guess the uh, the other side that that if we're forgetting about there is that the the new expansion adds a ton of Pokemon so everyone should like free agency this year it has, always has uh, has some good stuff on it but next year there's probably going to be plenty of of good mons either sitting on someone's bench not doing anything or sitting there in free agency just from the uh, the amount of available pokemon that are there yeah a, a lot of the mods that were added too were legendaries though so whoa, 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 whoa. we don't know that so yet so we'll so we'll see we'll what see. uh we'll see what what happened but i know a lot <laughs> i mean i'm not saying that they'll be available i'm just yeah. saying if you but look at the take, decks, how the from decks the numbers. Yeah, no, you're, right. you're right. You know, there yeah. are a lot of mods that are legendaries, and who knows what's going to happen with all of that. But yeah. hashtag oh, oh, this is this oh, is that's a beautiful. That's gorgeous. Okay, so this here, that this here will so definitely much more. explain a lot more. Um, so we'll go. We'll go to you, um, Andrew. We'll, there you are. Um, so Damn. it tells you specifically. <laughs> <laughs> so you're laying on your team, you're like, oh, 110, that's not bad. But you have to give up two first rounds, a second round, a seventh round, and a fourth round to keep your entire so, team. So I wouldn't Holy be able to draft God. I wouldn't be able to draft until the fifth round. Basically. No, third round. Yep. No, because uh, the no, first you're right. round back to back. Yeah, back to back. Damn. 
but that's crazy. It's not worth it. Yeah, you're not competing with Larry on anyways. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's worth it, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly. Not, I'm, not, I'm not the coach of that team, but yeah, that's crazy. Hey, you know, yeah. that's insane. That's really cool to have to consider. Yeah. I mean, especially when you look at teams like uh, Carolina, mm -hmm. like Marcus's team. If you look there, mm -hmm. I mean, he can't keep both Torquemada and Venusaur. No. So you, you know, so you go oh, from yeah. being being that that Sun Sweeper team, you have to try to figure out what you wanna what you wanna switch and, to. And he can't he can't resign Venusaur. Right. So, at all. Period. Right. Not unless he, uh, he can try to, something to get some he, more money. Yeah, he would have to try to trade something to get more money, um, or he would have to let it go into free agency and hope he can afford it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, this this is a really yeah. interesting doc to be able to go through, and I'm sure um, by the time this uh, podcast comes out, it'll yeah. be something that the ev everyone can uh, kind of look at here and and figure out and oh, figure out what. Own pig? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but see, on mine, I got lucky though. It's like, yeah, how cheap? I'm up the uh, the neck. Yeah, right there. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's kind of bad though. But you, you're. But, I mean, look. I mean, like really Obama Snow, Reuniclus. Yeah. Dude, you know, you know who comes out well here. There's I mean, people who got good seventh round picks, yeah. like that reboot there, or, yeah. or looking at Indiana. Scroll down to Indiana, like the Leafy on with the seventh the seventh round pick, getting to hold oh, on to that shit. guy. Deal. Yeah, that's a steal. Yep. Damn. Arkansas so had yeah, a first Arkansas. round pick though. That sucks. Across <laughs> <Fair laughs> the second, see that's that's balanced. Oh, look at look at Amungus. Amungus a first rounder. Oh yeah. Amungus. Only bad long See, and then, and then Jam's team. I mean, he kept his entire team uh, yeah. from season one. That's why his team's so expensive. That's why Ooh. his team is so expensive, right? Because basically, most yeah. oh, you know, every modernist team except uh, maybe one or two, he's gonna have to let go into free agency. But the age is thirty bucks. It's, yeah, it's buddy. Giving, Welcome. <laughs> it's kind of, hey, given the people who want to try to keep their, keep their team together an opportunity to do so. Arcanine no, first Arcanine. rounder though. <laughs> Fuck. That sucks. I, I love that monster so much. 80 bucks. That's 80 cheap. bucks. Slurp up 150. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Team's only 20 bucks. So. Skarmory this will, I mean. Yeah, I mean, we could stare at this list here forever, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, okay. there's so many. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because he blew up the fucking team. Jesus. <laughs> I like it, that 30 dollar Grim Snarl though. I will be spending yeah. so much time staring at this list. That, that originally used to be my second round pick. Or yeah, yep. second round pick for 30 bucks. That's crazy. This is a whole season with buy. Where's Ditto at? Fourth round. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make some fourth, yeah. I got to make some money. And this shouldn't <laughs> be a fourth round. Oh yeah it is, yeah. Money. Because he drops it in the fourth round. That makes sense. So, uh, so if, if you guys need errands ran, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll work for you for some Pokey money <laughs> to, uh, to resign <laughs> my guys here. Yeah, Mario, I'll trade you five Pokey for ten Pokemons. Wow. What? Man. I'm just sad about the the fossils being <laughs> so expensive. expensive. Ooh, rule change. Yeah. Uh, oh. Obama's no ten bucks though, so. That's so, like that. Just, here's some good, oh, good stuff. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> We're bringing legends oh, and oh, mythicals oh, to TPL. Oh, By popular demand, gosh. the TPL is bringing some, not all, some legendaries and mythical Pokemon this season. Special thanks to our legend review committee for putting the work together to determine what would be fair and uh, what should be banned. Uh, that being said, Damn. this list of legendaries and mythicals are legal this season. Mostly done by Dan, uh, to be honest. Dan made the list, and we kind of just said, yeah, you know, you know. But it was mainly Dan. Um, no wonder regular like he's out so there. That's smart. We got the three birds, the three dogs, the three Reggies, the uh, Soul Dew duo, oh. the uh, Lake Trio, uh, oh. Heatron, Heatron. Persona, uh, the uh, Swords ooh, of Justice. Ooh. Speed, up, speed up time. Yeah. Speed that actually torn. this is VGC, my bad we got torn <laughs> and <forgot> thunderous <laughs> no lando is that both forms 
Yeah, we banned Lando. We got the Tapus. Four Tapus. The Tapus! And we got the Ultra Beasts here. Some of them. Ooh, uh, Zerk the Zerk Tree. Nihilego, Buzzwell, Zerk Tree, Guzzlord. So, no Stack Attacker, no, no Feromosa. No Feromosa. Uh, that makes ones. sense. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, oh, Cub Fu. You know, the, oh. No Cartana. Cartana? Yeah. Oipo. Cart Cartana. But no, um, no, uh, um, Nika Lug or whatever it's called. Ah, uh, I forgot. Whoa, what you say? Nika Lego? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's there. No. What's the other one? What's Poipo evolve into? The big purple I one. I, I, didn't I, don't really play, I didn't really play Ultra Sun. Dude, I don't, I don't even recognize like half of these names, man. <laughs> yeah, these are all the. Sun yeah, names. those are that's all the other, other stuff. stuff. The other legendary birds too. Yeah. Okay. So Kubfu is there, yeah. but no Urshifu. But no Urshifu. Here's Urshifu. one big thing. Galarian birds. Uh. The Galarian birds are separate from the regular birds. Okay. It's, okay, so now as a whole, is form lock still a thing? So we'll get there. I took a little peek. Zygarde won. So we got the dog. We don't have anything else. Just a little dog. Yes, Cosmo, Cosmoa, but no of the other two. Um, so that'll be interesting if someone brings a Cosmo. Oh. <laughs> oh. Doesn't got, that thing get like right. four attacks, like Charm and Splash? Yeah, yeah, Cosmo gets Splash. <laughs> so that'll be a free agency. Calyrex base, though. Calyrex base. Ugh. Celebi, Jirachi, Keldeo, nice. Zara Aura, Zara Aura, Melton, no, no, no Mel Metal, no, oh. no Mel Metal, no Mel Metal. I was I was gonna try so hard for Mel Metal, but didn't make the cut. And finally, Zarude, Zarude. That's gonna be my pick right there, Zarude. I was gonna say I know you've been using that mod on the on the ladder. Yeah, I love it. So, this, so these guys enter the draft then? Yes, all of these. Yep. Are gonna be in the draft. Are right there then? Oh, yeah, dude, man. I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to let Zam go if I have to hold the first round draft for them. Are you locked in having thing. a number of legendaries? I don't see that listed here. Yeah. So let's go back to the legendary rules. Everything legendary wise. Oh wait, this is gonna be talking about what's not legal. Okay. So. I don't get that. All the other legendaries aren't legal. Right, so anything that's not on yeah. this list is not legal. So notice how both forms of the legendary birds are listed. We are keeping the form rule change, but we're just form locking the legendary birds. Tornadus what? and Thunderous are not form locked. So you can go uh, Incarnate or um, the other Therian. One Therian. Yeah, for those two. Just those oh. two. Uh, this list of Pokemon cannot. Dynamax. Oh, thank God. Right? I was Everybody's scared like, of that. Oh. <laughs> right? Jeez. Right? Yeah, that's scary. We balanced it out. And uh, yeah. everything else is eligible to Dynamax. In addition to these mods, the following uh, can also join the TPL for the first time. So. Ooh, okay, nice. Discount still, still. Are you allowed to have more than one legendary? Mm. I don't see that. that mm. rule, man. Well, so you because. Can keep going, keep going. Hey. Well, well, listen, if you want to go scroll and down, grab... Scroll down, Mario. Scroll down. Okay. Who does that mean? there. Okay, okay. Metagross? Okay, here we go. Okay. But no, there, there are more rules, rules down at the bottom. It might be yeah. down there. Okay, okay. But I saw a baton path rule. Yeah. But what I want to say is, like, look, if you want to get Cosmog on your team, you shouldn't have to drop, you know, a bird or a Reggie for that. Oh, wait. There's no new Reggies on here. Oh, sad. No, there's not. That's why I'm saying yeah. there's. Like, I mean, there's just. Oh, I mean, there's like 40, 40 plus new mods. Like, how many are actually usable? I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna bring Cub Fu, yeah. um, you know, and stuff like you know, Ver Verizian might be like, uh, you know, borderline. Yeah. yeah. Um, Verizian's a good. But uh, I mean, third, so. Third round pick. Yeah. Cut, yeah. So Cub I think yes. Yeah, so like... I think for the most part, you know, we're gonna have a lot of people. Well, it, it'll also depend on how all that free agency stuff goes. You know, who's going to end up with first round, yeah. an actual yeah. first round pick. Yeah. Because if you end up keeping them on like, you know, a, a Hydreigon or a, a, a Dracovish or whatever, mm -hmm. and you end up foregoing a high draft pick, you might lose out on getting a legendary at all. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting uh, we're getting a usable legendary, right. should I say? Yeah, we're well, we're throwing it all away. Well, throwing well, it all well, away. I just counted them. There are forty-four legendaries. So take our all right, um, and like ten, it, ten, you would say, are kind of ass. Complete are kind of yeah, are kind of not really that usable. Yeah, so about every team will get one if they want, right? Yeah, unless but like unless. if I can get like. I mean, or I'm just thinking out loud here. If you can get one of the Tapus and then you get another mod, like something from the the Swords of Justice, yeah. or or maybe uh, uh, one of the original Kanto birds, yeah. like that's that's really good to start yeah. off with on a team, you know. And if you have one of those high draft picks, that's definitely something that is possible to be done. Right, especially if people like like if I kept Alakazam, I lose that, so that's one spot down. If you're the first overall pick, you're definitely getting two of those guys. Yeah, basically. Yeah. If you if you want them. Right. If you want them, depending on what mons you keep and all that kind right. of stuff. But it's also good to note that like a lot of these Pokemon that are getting released or got released in the Crown Tundra are just as busted as the legendaries up here. Uh, yeah, I see. <laughs> I see Blaziken on there. Blaziken. I don't see any. Yeah, I don't Blaziken, see Dragonite. any speed boost. Uh, uh, you know, lock on there. Metagross. We Metagross. Dragonite's about. really oh, yeah. fun, especially multi scale. Oh, dude, Mudkip. Oh man. <laughs> We're just talking about how like blessed the weakness policy is, and do you know how many uh, Salamence, 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 Salamence. Our, our Metagross, and all these shit run weakness policy. Dynamax. It's just so good. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. Trico. I think Trico going to drop Trico. We definitely did a good job by adding legendaries. Because look at this list. This list is not that long. It's No, no, it's not. That's why we have to. Uh, that's why I said we have it's to add legendaries. What, 70? 50 to. It's 70. about 70. About 70. Yeah. 68. That's, 68. That's babies yeah. in there, too. So, really, more like 30. 30 Pokemon. It's going to be an run, interesting uh, draft, man. Yeah, it will be. It should be pretty fun. So let's read the last set of rules here. So Ooh. Be sure to read the Ooh. rules tab in uh, Season 2 document to be familiar with the current rules. Here are the remaining rule changes. Baton Pass can only be used as a pivot move. No longer are you allowed to Baton Pass stats. Moody is now Ooh. banned. Trapping remains legal. There are eight roster spots. Really? Seven teams uh, from each conference make the playoffs. Seven. Hmm. With an additional wild card slot added, once the first seed gets the first round by, much like the NFL has changed now. And right. for, this is the biggest rule right here, my favorite rule. I actually took a peek at this one. Tiebreaker. In case of a tie. Oh hell yes. Teams will go into oh. sudden death, featuring the Pokemon that have not been KO'd. So battles Get will be the from out of here. Six Get the six. fuck out of here. They're actually doing that. To one v one, depending on what's left standing. Yes. If Damn. <laughs> you go into sudden death, you have to use the same sets. You have to use the same sets, but you will get the PP, HP, and status reset. So each Pokemon can lead, or each team can lead whichever Pokemon they want in the second in the uh, tiebreaker, um, whatever. So that's awesome. Yeah, man. Really no more, no more the actual back. ties. That means like if. I'm going against Brooks. But let's say it's a 5-4. No, no, no. If it's a 5-4, obviously I win. But if it's a 4-4, <laughs> four, four, then we have to go into tiebreaker. And if he just kills off fucking, I don't know, Chansey, then I'm going to be like, no big deal. I still got my sweepers in the back. It changes the whole game. But no more real ties. We won't be playing as scared. I feel like we'll be playing way more like defensive and like, I don't know, like real singles. Yeah, and bringing yeah. the same sets is a huge thing, man. Yeah, that's huge because you can totally change up your play style. You know, because you, I mean, if you're smart, you're like writing down and figuring out um, how things went the first round, mm -hmm. right? Um, I mean, like I, it just reminds me of the game I had with Lincoln earlier in the year yeah. that ended in a six 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 tie. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's not satisfying for anyone. No. So, you know, I I have to think like in my mind. Okay, well, if we had those extra turns, how would it have gone? Yeah. And this helps us answer those questions, so we don't end up with things like that or teams that have 
four, five ties in the season. I really it's like a, this. So, yeah. so Trico, I'm Trico totally just, surprised by this, but yeah. I love it. I, I love this because this is only the tiebreaker only happens when you do end up in a tie. 4 4, 3 3, 2 2, 1 1. But as long as you can still win 5 4 or, um, you know, 2 2 to 1, whatever, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You're not tied, so you won. Still, the timer's still there. But if you can still keep it a tie the whole match, man, changes it so much. So you can't plan for yeah. it. You Huge. can't plan for it. Huge. Uh, but at least there won't be any ties. Like, oh man, what if, what if, what if? Exactly. Oh, look, the, the group chat just blew up over the. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. If Shiko. you look here, he just dropped uh, it. Yeah. Everybody's looking he at it. He just dropped it. Everyone's seeing it right now. You're yeah. just sending so you gotta, it out. You gotta uh, upload this ASAP, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Trico, <laughs> if, you're, if you're listening to this, I've uh, reviewed this document. So I'm not going to send you a message because I'm telling you right now that I reviewed this document. <laughs> Oh look, oh, another comment. Yeah. Ages slash thirty dollars, mind blown. Yeah. <laughs> okay, again, yeah, the event of a tie. Go for a while. We're gonna keep going into sudden death. So if you start off six six like you did with Jam, and you end up in five five, you keep going, man. You keep going. So that would be crazy if somebody goes to uh, like six or seven rounds of tiebreakers. <laughs> oh yeah. We're whittling it down one Pokemon at a time. Pretty much. The thing is that status is an HP reset, so oh, son, if, yeah. if you bring protect and, and toxic and all this shit, man, yeah. man. Sub tox protect, that's all you need. That's all you need. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Some hail chip. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of hail chip. Very crazy. Alright, let's see what's on the confirmation tab. Please list the team name that you want to confirm. Wow, that's bullshit. I, I, uh, Trico, that I did that. I, I did that, Trico. Looks that's like that's it. it. Can add my name that to that list. It, man. I mean, that's that was the juiciest stuff right there. The rule change and all the mods available. That was juicy, tasty. Man. You know, I think I love it. Biggest, I'm gonna biggest, stare at this list uh, forever. biggest game changer is that 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 tab right next to you. The cost to retain yeah. team breakdown thing. Dude, that's yeah. gonna be. I love it. It yeah, makes it hurt. makes all the changes a lot more digestible. It's easier yeah. to look at. Um, so you can kind of figure out what's going on, and you can also get an idea of what the other teams have to think about too. Right? Yeah, you're gonna be able to see like, who's really gonna be a free agent, who's gonna be right. coming like, knocking right. down my right. door, who's, who's gonna be dropping their third round pick to keep whoever. Yeah. It's. Uh, I do have a question though. I don't. I, I haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. So these moms that are paid, if I drop them, extra round pick, do I? Like a like a fr like yeah that'll be a, like you see Scyther's round first round yeah won't necessarily be first round wait what some do you, of the what teams you that have like two first rounds yeah. some of the teams have two first round picks right yeah do they yeah. actually get those first round picks if they drop those mons no, no yeah no. I think that no 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 you don't get two first round picks it's just if you have two mons worth first round picks. You, end yeah. up you give up one value. Yeah, you give up the second round pick, the third round pick, but oh. you don't get two first rounds. Okay, so I think though, and I think in looking this over, I think it answers my question that I had earlier. Yeah. So I got that, and no, I don't think. I think it all, the only way for me to keep Alex Zam is to give the first round pick. If I don't, he goes to free agency and the bid yeah. starts at like the zero dollars or whatever. Yeah. So. So this like there is no way to to like if and so and, and if the Pokemon goes to free agency it starts at zero right or does it start like if I drop Sir Fetch does he start at eighty? On one dollar. Oh, okay. Yeah, enter bidding at one dollar. Got it. But listen, this will pretty much incentivize everybody to drop as much as possible. Yep, yep. You you're going to be dropping. Everyone's going to be dropping everyone. You yeah. You only want to keep what you really, really, really love because if everybody's dropping everybody. That means you want to keep as much money as you you can, you know. Um, just speaking personally here, I'd probably want to keep that hip out on at twenty bucks. Everything else, nah, drop it. Yeah. Wait, but do you after the draft though? The money doesn't isn't important anymore, right? No, exactly. So you got to spend. You got to spend. So yeah, you want to spend all hundred bucks, Mario. So maybe you yeah. do keep the Darmanitan, spend a no, hundred bucks because all these mods are gonna go into. Like you said, you're gonna drop uh, Alakazam. 
And if I can outbid you or outbid anybody on an Alkazam, I'll do that. I'll, I'll pay maybe 50 bucks Got for it. it. And then if you can't, then it goes All to right. free agency. And if I can't, then it'll go to free agency, free agency. Got it. Where you draft Got it. it. You know, where you yep. spend your second, third round pick. Yep. So I don't know yep. how many people are going to be spending their first round pick to not get a legendary because that's what everybody's going to be looking at right now. They're yeah. going to be looking at these yeah. legendaries. Yep. Yo, I want a Tapu. Yo, I want a Zapdos. I want fucking, you know, Zerkatree. Buzz, Bugswell. All these all these things. Rachi, man. Rachi. Like, there's so many. Dude. There's so many fun Rachi, mods. Man. Heatran. I Heatran. loved Heatran back in the no, day, man. No, for, forget these forget these legendaries, man. Going for that Blaziken or those other guys down there that are Oh yeah, Metagross. Yeah, Metagross. Yeah. Garchomp. Yeah, yeah those Garchomp. Are legendaries coming back. Yeah. yeah, everybody's talking about tank for Garchomp. No, tank for fucking Zero Aura, you know? <laughs> tank oh, tank yeah. for Feeny, man. This. Yeah. And so whoever survived yeah. free agency goes to this. Yeah. Right? Wow. So that's a good boost yeah. to the draft. Yeah, I mean, this Holy is it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun off season. Yeah, it's going to be the most I'm fun. pumped. Off season ever. So balanced. So many mons. Eight picks this year. So <laughs> the battles will be crazy. No more ties. All right, that that about uh, wraps it up. So y'all got any more um, closing remarks? Anything else you want to say before we go and try to Love you, upload this? It was fun. It was a fun time. Yeah. That was fun. That was exciting. Good bull. Time. Yeah, now everyone's uh, already looking at it. and uh, That way they can look at it while they listen. So yeah. let's get this thing uploaded. Oh, yeah. 